Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to play Game Boy Advance games on your Nintendo Switch using the VBA Next emulator. So you will need a few things for this. You'll need an SD card, you will need the Homebrew channel installed on your Nintendo Switch, and that is pretty much it. So what you want to do first is just go ahead and power off your Nintendo Switch fully. So just hold down the power button, go to power options, and go to power off. Alright guys, so now you just want to go ahead and take out your SD card because you will need to plug it into your PC. So just go ahead and plug it in now. Okay guys, so when you're on your computer and your Nintendo Switch SD card is plugged in, all you want to do is go to the first link in the description and it's just called VBA Next. So that is the name of this Game Boy Advance emulator. It's fairly new, it was last updated in July, but all you want to do is just go ahead and just click the download button. This is then just going to download the zip file with the emulator in. So once you have downloaded that, go to your PC's downloads folder and you'll be able to find it here. So all you want to do is get the zip file, right click it and select extract here. So it's going to give you uh, these three files. All you want to do is um, get the switch file and just copy it across to the root of your Nintendo Switch SD card. Just like that, it will copy across in a second. Next thing you want to do is right click, create a new folder and just call it ROMs. Just like that. Then go inside of the ROMs folder, right click, create another new folder and just call it all capitals GBA. Then go back to your downloads folder. Now you will need some kind of Game Boy Advance ROM. Here I've got Tekken Advance. It's up to you where you get your ROMs from. I've just copied this one off one of my cartridges. So all you want to do is put the ROM inside of the ROMs folder and then inside of the GBA folder. Go back to your downloads and just copy your ROMs folder to the root of your Nintendo Switch SD card. So that is it for the PC. You have now got it ready. So all you want to do is plug it back into your Nintendo Switch and I'll show you guys what to do next. All right guys, so now you just want to make sure you put back in your SD card, make sure your Nintendo Switch key stays powered off. Now because the emulator loads off the homebrew launcher, I'm just going to launch into the SXOS real quick. So I'm just going to put in the RCM jig and then just put in the SXOS dongle and then just hold the power and volume button while you power it on. So then what we're going to do is just boot custom firmware and then just wait for your Nintendo Switch to power up. So as soon as you see uh, the Nintendo logo, you can actually just take out a jig, put your Joy-Con back on, and then you can also take out this. So on the Nintendo Switch right now, we need to launch the homebrew menu. So you want to go to your um, album right here, and then scroll across to the homebrew menu, or if you've got a different way of opening it, then just go ahead and do that. But this is with SXOS. So then you just want to press A to launch up the homebrew menu. And now you will find the emulator. So it's actually this one right here, VBA Next. Just press A on it and then it will just launch up like this. So what you want to do from here is scroll down and press A on the ROMs folder, press A on the GBA folder, and then press A on your ROM. And then the game is just going to load up perfectly fine with full working sound and everything like that. Um, this emulator is actually really good. So let's just do some quick gameplay. Uh, let's just go for an arcade match. So this works with all Game Boy Advance games, um, you know, you can back them off of your own cartridges, it's entirely up to you guys where you get them from, but this emulator is really good, and if you want to play Game Boy Advance games on your Switch, I would definitely recommend using this one. There is also a menu that you can open on this emulator, so if you just press X, it will come up. So we've got continue, that just resumes the game, load save state, so if you save a game and you want to continue to save, you will use that. Write save state, if you just press A on that, then it will create a save file, cheats and settings. So if you go into settings, you can um, change the theme and stuff like that. You can change the um, scaling, so we've got nearest full screen. I'm pretty sure you can actually change it to complete full screen. But I would recommend keeping it on nearest. Um, frame skip, 
Uh, disable analog stick, uh, keep that on no probably. So I'm just going to do save and return. Lots of cool options you can edit here. Cheats as well. You will need to add in cheats. Uh, so you want to add in the codes. And then that's pretty much it. So yeah, pretty cool emulator. So that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.